Blockage in Cyclone 4 Preheater System, What Caused It? Blockage of a preheater cyclone can occur at any time, and it is impossible to predict when it will occur. Kiln operators must immediately anticipate this, if they see suspicious changes in operating parameters in the preheater system. If you are late in action on this cyclone blockage problem, material can accumulate and stay inside the cyclone until it is full. What causes a blockage in a cyclone? There are several causes for blockage of the material channel from cyclones, including, 1. The cyclone outlet damper is stuck or does not open and close smoothly. Because the bearing shaft is stuck, or the damper shaft is bent. 2. Coating falls from the connecting duct and clogs the cyclone outlet above the damper. 3. Inner tube segments loose and fall, then clog the cyclone outlet. 4. Ring coating occurs on the cyclone cone. Due to the use of alternative fuels that are not refined and not completely burned in the calciner chamber. 5. Material melt occurs at the cyclone outlet, because of the calciner outlet operating temperature exceeding 900 degrees Celsius continuously. When clogging occurs in a cyclone, can be seen in changes in the operating parameters of the preheater system in the central control room. What are the operating parameters that can be seen by the kiln operator? And can ensure that there is a cyclone blockage and take action to stop the kiln operation. Before we continue this discussion, if you like this video, please subscribe for those of you who haven't subscribed and watch the video until it's finished. Alright let's continue this discussion. As an example of clogging occurring in cyclone, for line 1, the parameter changes that are visible on the monitor display are, first, the change in the draft of the lower cyclone, for line 1 is drastically reduced, and the temperature of the hot gas after the calciner tends to rise, because the material from cyclone, for line 1 that enters the calciner room is reduced. Then the temperature of the hot gas after cyclone 5 line 1 also rises. Because the material from the calciner is reduced. Furthermore, the draft above cyclone for line 1 increases, and O2 at the kiln inlet tends to decrease below 1%. Because the temperature of the hot gas after the calciner rose drastically, and reached 1000 degrees Celsius, the calciner burner interlocked to stop. In conditions like this, kiln operators should not panic, but stop kiln operations quickly, and contact field operators to ensure that cyclone for line 1 is properly clogging. By moving the cyclone for line 1 outlet damper, if it cannot be moved it is confirmed as clogging. The main burner flame must be turned off and the air intake from the SPID fan must be regulated so that it is not positive in the preheater system. The handling of Cyclone 4 blockages must be done carefully and in accordance with the applicable occupational health and safety procedures. Because the temperature of the material in Cyclone 4 is around 800 degrees Celsius, it is very dangerous if the material comes out of the cyclone channel. This work requires very strict supervision to avoid accidents. The floors below the cyclone where there is a blockage must be free of flammable objects and no one is allowed to work under the floor. Attention to avoid the avalanche of hot material from the cyclone you must run to find a place that is higher than the floor. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully it's useful, and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and share it with your friends who need it. See you in the next video.